So thou, searching the spot of the black in the twilight at sea, that night had his reward. So children, uh, earlier you have seen that the general had promised to reward Dr. Sadao. But Dr. Sadao's reward was not meant in terms of medals or trophies. He wanted to have his reward in some other way. And he had been able to get the sought reward. He had been able to get the reward that he desired. And what it was? It was in the form of the safety of the person for whom he had struggled and for whom he had risked his life and freedom. कि जनरल ने जैसे कि कहा था डॉक्टर सदाओ से कि वो उसको रिवार्ड देगा तो डॉक्टर सदाओ का रिवार्ड ये नहीं था कि उसे कोई मेडल मिल जाए या कोई ट्रॉफी मिल जाए डॉक्टर सदाओ के लिए रिवार्ड था कि जिसके लिए उन्होंने इतना कुछ स्ट्रगल किया उसकी जान कैसे बचे तो डॉक्टर सदाओ हैड अल्टीमेटली बीन एबल टू हैव इज रिवार्ड एज ही डिड नॉट फाइंड एनी फ्लैश लाइट इन दोराइजन एंड दैट वॉज अ क्लियर कट इंडिकेशन टू दी फैक्ट दैट दी मैन हैड बीन एबल टू एस्केप तो यही डॉक्टर सदाओ का रिवार्ड था कि वो आदमी वहां से बच करके निकल गया एक बार फिर से देखिए कि सदाओ सर्चिंग द स्पॉट ऑफ ब्लैक इन द ट्वाइलाइटेड सी दैट नाइट हैड हिज रिवार्ड सो डॉक्टर सदाओ वाज सर्चिंग द स्पॉट ही वाज सर्चिंग द स्पॉट फ्रॉम वेयर ही वाज गोइंग टू रिसीव अ फ्लैश बट एज ही डिड नॉट रिसीव इट इट वाज श्योर दैट द मैन हैड एस्केप्ड देयर वाज नो प्रिक ऑफ लाइट इन द डस्क सो डस्क अपोजिट ऑफ डॉन इज डस्क इवनिंग टाइम सो देयर वाज नो प्रिक ऑफ लाइट इन द डस्क there wasn't any kind of light in the dusk there wasn't any flashlight in the dusk and that was a clear cut indication to the fact that the man had been able to get away saving his life ki wo aadmi nikal gaya tha kyunki koi bhi jo hai wahan pe kisi bhi tarike se koi light nahi dikhai de rahi thi no one was on the island there wasn't anybody on the island his prisoner was gone safe doubtless for he had warned him to wait only for a korean fishing boat so as he had been suggested that he has to catch a korean fishing boat and run away he had done the same and he had been able to make an escape ki jaisa use bataya gaya tha ki korean fishing boat se jana hai wo korean fishing boat ko pakad kar wahan se chala gaya he stood for a moment on the veranda gazing out to the sea from whence the young man had come the other night so now dr sadao had been standing in the balcony of his veranda and he had been gazing out to the sea he was just trying to remember all the things as they had happened he was remembering how the man had come to his house how he had brought him into the room how he had nursed him he was just remembering all the things as he was quite relaxed today he was just having a uh, uh, what to say retrospection of what had happened in past and into his mind although without reason there came other white faces he had known and now dr sadao had also been remembering other white faces that he had known when he was in america ki wo har kuch yaad kar rahe the wo ye bhi yaad kar rahe the ki kaise ye soldier unke ghar mein aaya kis tarike se wo samudra se beh kar ke aa gaya kaise unhone usko nikala kaise uska dawa ilaaj kiya kya kiya in sab cheezon ko yaad kar rahe the sath hi sath apne khayalon mein bhi wo उस वक्त को याद करने लगे जब वो अमेरिका में थे और वहाँ पर जो उनके प्रोफेसर्स वगैरह थे उनको उन्होंने अपने मन ही मन याद करना शुरू किया द प्रोफेसर एट हुज हाउस ही हैड मेट हाना सो ही वॉज रिमेंबरिंग द प्रोफेसर एट हुज हाउस ही हैड मेट हाना अ डल मैन सो दैट प्रोफेसर वॉज अ डल मैन एंड हिज वाइफ वॉज अ वेरी सिली टॉकेटिव वुमन his wife was a very silly woman and she was talkative also in spite of her wish to be kind so however she was always interested to be kind with the uh, students with the foreign students especially but she was really too talkative and that is why she was giving a lot of boredom to the students so dr sadao was remembering them all ki ek urdu mein kisi ne kaha hai bahut acha kisi shayar ne kaha hai ki maazi ke samandar mein aksar yaadon ke zazeere milte hain फिर आओ वहीं लंगर डालें फिर आओ उन्हें आबाद करें कि माजी के समंदर माजी का मतलब कि पास्ट के पास्ट की जो यादें हैं उनके समंदर में यादों के जजीरे जजीरे का मतलब जहाज कि माजी के समंदर में अक्सर यादों के जजीरे मिलते हैं फिर आओ वहीं लंगर डालें फिर आओ उन्हें आबाद करें कि मतलब लेटेस्ट रिकलेक्ट द मेमोरीज ऑफ पास्ट ये इसका मतलब है तो वही कुछ यहाँ पर डॉक्टर सदाओ भी करते हुए दिखाई दे रहे हैं He remembered his old teacher of anatomy, who had been so insistent on mercy with the knife. So now Dr. Sada was remembering yet another teacher. Now he was remembering his teacher of anatomy, who was really so insistent with the mercy with knife. 
कि वो टीचर जो हमेशा कहा करते थे दैट अ सर्जन मस्ट हैव गॉट फुल नॉलेज ऑफ द ह्यूमन बॉडी एज एफ ही हैज हिमसेल्फ मेड इट उनको अब ये याद कर रहे थे कि कैसे उन्होंने कितनी बारीकी से हर एक चीज को पढ़ाया एंड देन ही रिमेंबर द फेस ऑफ हिज फैट एंड स्लेटरनली लैंड लेडी ही वॉज ऑल्सो रिमेंबरिंग हिज फ्लैट एंड स्लेटरनली लैंड लेडी हिज रूड लैंड लेडी ही हैड हैड ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी इन फाइंडिंग अ प्लेस टू लिव इन अमेरिका बिकॉज ही वॉज अ जैपनीज सो एज ही वॉज अ जैपनीज ही वॉज हैविंग अ ग्रेट डिफिकल्टी इन फाइंडिंग a rented room while he was in america but then that landlady had offered her room and she was a very rude lady yet she was helpful in the difficulties ki wo un sabhi logon ko yaad kar rahe the jinke wo contact mein the america mein to unhone us professor ko bhi yaad kiya unhone us landlady ko bhi yaad kiya jisne unko apne ghar mein rakha tha lekin jo ki thoda subhav se rude thi the americans were full of prejudice and it had been bitter to live in it knowing himself their superior so here dr sadav tells you that while he had been in america initially for pursuing his education he had had great difficulty in finding out an accommodation on rent he had had great difficulty in adjusting himself in the atmosphere of america because americans are prejudiced they are always partial people they are not very just in their attitude कि वो थोड़ा प्रेजिडिस्ड हैं थोड़ा सा एक अलग सोच रखने वाले लोग हैं दे ऑलवेज कंसीडर दम सेल्फ सुपीरियर टू अदर्स कि वो हमेशा अपने आप को दूसरे से सुपीरियर मानते हैं तो ऐसे लोगों के साथ रहना बड़ा ही कड़वाहट भरा होता है जो अपने आप को हमेशा आपसे बेहतर समझें हाउ ही डिस्पाइज द इग्नोरेंट एंड डल्टी ओल्ड वुमन हु हैड एट लास्ट कंसेंटेड टू हाउस एम इन हर मिजरेबल होम सो डॉक्टर सदाव वॉज ऑल्सो रिमेंबरिंग दैट ओल्ड वुमन हु हैड एट लास्ट कंसेंटेड हु हैड एट लास्ट एक्सेप्टेड to allow Dr. Sadao to live live in her miserable home कि वो उसको भी मोटी औरत को याद कर रहे थे जिसने बड़ी मुश्किल से उनको अपने घर में रहने के लिए जगह दी थी he had once tried to be grateful to her because she had in his last year nursed him through influenza so when Dr. Sadao was in the last year of his degree course he had suffered from influenza that is the name of a disease and during this period it was that landlady who had helped dr sadao a lot she had nursed him so dr sadao wanted to be thankful to her to ye sab sari cheeze wo yaad kar rahe hain ki kaise kaise unko shuruaati dino mein difficulty hui fir ja kar ke badi mushkil se unko ghar mila kyunki americans hamesha ek prejudice ka shikar rehte hain apne ko superior mante hain aur japanese ko to hamesha neechi nigah se hi dekhte chale aa rahe the to in sab paristhitiyon mein kaise unko rehne ki jagah mili kaise unhone apna kaam aage badhaya kaise unhone padhai ki in sab cheezon ko wo bari bari se yaad karte hue dikhai de rahe hain but it was difficult for she was no less repulsive to him in her kindness so here dr sadao says that however that uh, landlady had helped dr sadao when she had nursed him in his influenza yet she was no less repulsive in her kindness ki jab wo kindness bhi dikhati thi tab bhi wo lady bahut repulsive thi ki jaise khane ko de rahi hai leo khao bharo apne pet mein to this is being repulsive in kindness ki kindness to hai lekin us kindness mein bhi wo repulsive dikhai de rahi hai ye baat yahan pe batayi ja rahi hai aapko Now he remembered the youthful, haggard face of his prisoner, white and repulsive. So now, Doctor Sadao was also remembering the youthful, haggard face of his prisoner. Doctor Sadao was remembering the face of his prisoner, who was white and yet repulsive. So that man was white, and yet he was repulsive. That prisoner, that American prisoner of war, he was repulsive because he was an enemy. And yet, in spite of all this repulsion, in spite of all this point of enmity, Doctor Sadao had. Help him out with the best of his capability. I wonder why I could not kill him. So, on account of all these things, Doctor Sadao was compelled to think over it. Why he could not kill him, in spite of the fact that he was an enemy. कि आखिर Doctor Sadao उसे क्यों नहीं मार पाए? ये आज तक उन्हें खुद नहीं समझ में आया. And that is how we have been able to complete this chapter. And hope you would have been able to understand everything from this chapter.